Mount St. John is uh, breeding with elite mares in sport and with exclusive brood mares from top families throughout Europe, mainly by embryo transfer, so that we can produce um, perhaps multiple offspring by different stallions in one season and also to breed with some of the young mares or the mares that are currently competing at the same time. And uh, we were very excited. I think you'll uh, all agree we're very happy with this form. She'll be a super uh, sport and breeding mare for our future. And she is the full sister to the top stallion. Two times Bundes champion, first Fugger, ridden by Christina Sprayer, and uh, I brought her as a four. And I think one of the key reasons why she makes such a good broodmare as well is the fact that she's got coupled with an amazing hind leg and a really lovely attitude to work and an enormous high trainability. She's trained up to and working at a level of Grand Prix already. is to have um, top uh, stallions becoming champions of their licensing, uh, top mares that we have bred becoming really uh, successful in sport and breeding themselves um, and hopefully going on to be successful um, with us and other riders from all over the world um, in the big sport and in the world championships all the way up to Olympic level. By Ruben Royale We're really happy with the type, with the movement. I think uh, it's really everything that does embryos, and she's an amazing embryo producer, particularly for her age. the foundation of the whole stud of Mount St. John, or Philly last year, that was one of the highest placed um, Phillies, just as Phillies in all the world. Gorgeous.
table and she said, you've got your uh, Easter present. I said, what's that? She said, you've just got a Negro cult. So I was delighted. So really happy with him. Um, and we're super excited that Charlotte was happy with him. Yeah, looking at him, I saw uh, the, a black mare called Tia and um, I said to Emma oh my god what's that mare and she laughed and I said oh, what's funny so she said oh um, I've got two embryos to Negro from the, this mare so I said oh amazing I said well if there's a cult I would love to have the cult because obviously she keeps all the fillies yeah. and um, when I was at the World Cup finals this year um, Smartini was actually born so uh, it was a, a lovely Easter present and um, I bought him without seeing him um, so I came up after the World Cup final to come and have a look at him and uh, I was very very happy and uh, delighted to see him here today. with a young horse like this is not to overshow them, they just do a couple of shows a year. is to have um, sport horses competing uh, at the highest international level in dressage from world championships to Olympics for riders all over the world. <laughs> <laughs>